Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a roulette pan collab update. I am really excited about this update because I have hit a few goals. I am going to expand some goals because I hit them too fast, I think. This project is created by Rebecca and Alexi and they are beautiful ladies and they are so much fun to watch. They do a lot of pretty pants and talk about cruelty freeness and just shopping their stash. And I'm really excited about watching them and use you too if you aren't already. Yeah, they created this two years ago so that is quite exciting that it has been going on for so long and we have done so many rounds and I'm just really excited to be doing my second round of this project. When you sign up for this project basically you are going to get sent this excel spreadsheet with some categories and then you randomize six of those and choose some products to correspond to those categories. We are going to work on six products at a time and when we hit our goal, finish something up, etc. We're going to roll another one in. I'm excited about this update. So let me just talk about my products and it will make so much more sense. <laughs> something that is quite exciting and not that exciting at the same time. It is a category called an old fave or old favorite whatever you want to say it i chose my maybelline color to do in permanent taupe i am using this in my eyebrows at the moment it was completely brand new a month ago and now you can kind of see that i have been using it in the middle and when i realized i was digging a hole i tried to use it here on the side so it looks used at least so yes this is my progress and compared to last time it looks very much Use. I don't use a lot in my brows, but I do use them in, in my brows a little bit and then I top it with a brow gel. It's very cool toned. I don't know how I like it with my new hair color though, but I do know for sure that it is... I don't like it as an eye base as it is intended, so I might just use it up as an eyebrow color. I don't know. Let me know what you think if it is cool, too cool toned for this hair. I don't know. Then we have a category that something you received as a gift and I chose these makeup wipes because I got these when I stopped my internship at Itchy in the springtime. This is from Meraki, I think, with aloe. And there are 20 wipes in this and I don't know how many I've used. I don't think I've used half yet, but yeah, I just want to keep using it here and there. And I do think I'm close to have used half of it up. Itchy, sorry. I'm just going to keep going. I don't like wipes, so I don't want to use them every single day. Um, that was my intention, but I, I just don't do it. So hopefully I can have it done by next update or otherwise I will just use it and it will be an easy product to be working on basically. <laughs> Then we have a matte product and I chose my W7 Go Concealer in Fair and this is a perfect concealer for me in the winter time. It's a little bit too light for me now but I'm getting paler and paler every second so I don't mind. My goal was to hit pan and I have hit pan but I think I'm going to try to hit proper pan so if you can see in the pan Right there when they pan it, there is an edge, you know, and I will try to make that flat. And that is when I consider my goal here. I'm going to use this every single day anyway, so I don't see why I shouldn't just try to hit proper pan in this. I don't know how it, it happened though, but it did, and I don't think it is proper pan. So that is... An extended goal like I said in the beginning. Something I haven't used is for the category my favorite shade and I chose this W7 Stoop and Go Stooping Stick in pink light. Yeah pink light. I am obsessed with this pinky per no not not purple <laughs> pinky rose gold rosy shade right now. It's a beautiful highlight, it is, but I forgot to use this uh, underneath my makeup as I used the other one. I have set a goal and I wanted to use half and this is how much product that's in it and that is my goal, that is where I am. So 
yeah, I need to uh, step it up if I want to hit, uh, hit my goal by January when the finale is. Then we have something overrated or a product that is overrated or whatever you want to say. I chose a blush from Benefit and the box blushes are so overrated and especially this shade. This is Coralista from Benefit, as I just said. Look at that. I have pan in a month. Uh, like three weeks or something and I use it a few times as a, a crease shade. This is so soft that, that you I Have really considered just trying to finish this by January and I actually think I can but I really want to use something else um, I'm working on a more pink blush that I use every day in another project and that is quite pigmented So I need to use that more than just every other day and um, so I think it is a good time to roll this out maybe I can roll it back in for another category I don't know but yeah I hit my goal by hitting pan and I'm excited about that because this is not cool to free and I want it gone so maybe I can just roll it into the mission 100% cool to free at some point and it will be very easy to use up the last item that I have in this project before I roll something new in for the Wow, I just had to think there for a second what I was rolling out. The blush. I'm rolling the blush out. This is the last item I'm going to show you guys before I'm going to choose another category. And this is also a product or a category where I want to extend the goal. My goal was to hit pan on one of these blush, no, uh, lipstick pans in this palette. But the thing is that I hit pan after one use. And I think that is too fast. I used a lip color from the palette as well today and I hit pan. So, let me just show you. Here it is. This is the pan that I wanted to hit pan on. So as you can see, there is a lot of pan, but I have used it two times, maybe two and a half. I tried today, but I, I didn't like it uh, with the lip liner that I used. So I thought, why not just try to have a dark lip? You're not going anywhere anyway, so I hit pan on that as well So my goal is to hit pan on every single shade and then I will call it done so I can change up the category I think I don't think that is going to be hard because this formula is so creamy and soft and That is just a fact because I hit pan on two shades after one use so I really think I can do this um, some of the shades are not very fall appropriate though, the orange and the pink, but I really want to try to get some use out of this palette because it is getting older and I'm quite excited about it because I really like the formula. It's very creamy and light and you don't really feel it on your lips. Um, so I really really like this formula. So at some point it is going to be very easy to pan entirely because you hit pan on them so far, so the pan on the pans aren't that deep either. So yes, extend the goal to hit pan on every single pan in this palette on the lipsticks, and there are nine. I think that is doable, and hopefully I can do it by next update. Let's see. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so in my spreadsheet, I okay, I forgot to mention it, but last time I removed the categories that I got in my first round when I did this and then I have 39 uh, categories left. I don't want to remove the one that I used for the benefit one but if I choose that number let's just roll again. But I have 1, 2, 39 in my pretty random app and I will choose a new category if I can. 37. And that is a hack, a hair, I can't talk, a hair care item and I'm very excited that it's not a makeup item. So let me go grab a hair care item and then I don't know what to choose, but I will I will figure it out. I will figure it out. One moment. I'm back. Um it's not the most exciting item ever, but hair care is not really exciting. And Yes, I color my hair, but I don't, and I take care of it with hair mask and shampoo and conditioner and hair oil and whatever, but I don't do stuff with my hair that much. I do have some styling creams and mousses and whatever, but I don't really use them, and I'm afraid if I choose a mousse, it will be a fill because I don't use it enough, so I really wanted to do something that I actually use and I know that I can use up in this time span, and... 
is a dry shampoo. <laughs> I use a dry shampoo so often, it's not even really funny. <laughs> But I don't use them in a month, uh, I don't think. I do use them often. I try to not use them that often, but I can't help it. My hair uh, roots something something is... I won't say they are extremely oily, but they do get oily quite fast. So this is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo in Divine Dark. I bought this and the other one uh, that I have in my stash thinking that I would color my hair a uh, really dark again because that is what I usually do but I think this works on this hair color as well um, it is a dark one but I don't find this extremely dark it's not a dark brown black kind of dark but it's just a dark brown and I think it works. I haven't used it today because I washed my hair uh, yesterday because I colored it. So yeah, I am going to roll this in. I have used it maybe once so it is... It's almost brand new and there are 200 milliliters in this bottle. I don't know logical how many are... Uh, I think it was them, uh, her, that don't consider this culture free. Uh, but I have not found a uh, dry shampoo that I like. And on this bottle it says vegan and not tested on animals. So I want to be naive and think that is true. I'm a little bit afraid to try some new stuff because I have been so disappointed. And I find clear um, dry shampoos to be more oily in my hair. Um, or crunchy or anything and I don't like that so this is the only thing that works for me I'm just putting this in okay <laughs> don't come for me I hope you guys enjoyed this update my battery is running low apparently I hope you and guys enjoyed this update I think it was really exciting and I think it's quite exciting that the goals were so easy to hit this round or some of them at least so I wanted to expand on them and ch choose a new product for the blush etc so I don't have to work on two blushes you know I think you know the drill if you do a lot of project planning <laughs> it's really hard to work on so many items at the same time I was really excited to choose or get a hair care item even though I don't do anything about my hair other than that color it because today I didn't do anything I didn't uh, Obviously, I didn't curl it, but I didn't uh, straighten it or anything. So, yeah, I think it looks good. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited about this one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a like, subscribe down below if you're new here. Um, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I said that 5,000 times right now. But, yeah, until my next video, please take care.